and welcome everyone to another exciting episode of the Super Garland Gaming Pokemon X Nuzlocke Challenge. In today's episode, I would love to say we're going to just get to the 8th gym, but I don't know, it keeps being way further away than I think it's going to be, so whatever. Maybe there's another bridge of rival battles between us and there, or maybe not. I don't know. That was a total surprise and very frustrating. Maybe this is it. Maybe we're just here. Hey, twins. I don't know why, but I only really remember the battles I lose. I've never lost a battle. Personally, I don't know. Good for you. Snowbell City! Oh, I think this is it. I think this is the place. Could it be? At last? We shall heal. The question is, is Chloeo ready for a fight because I think she probably oh no is there a freaking what's new little blue don't call me little blue it's big J all right but ain't the future champ oh he said he was off to the whining woods if you feel like searching oh my gosh I do not feel like oh clothes I do not feel like searching but I can't resist a good sale. You guys know I love dressing up in new clothes. Why you don't get to buy the big puffy jacket in this city is beyond me. Ooh, the purple splatter paint. You know, I don't think these are any better. We go hoodie? No, it's dumb. I don't like it. It matches. All right, well, back. Mm, yes, I do want to quit without changing clothes. What a total waste of time. I was so excited. Oh, well. All right. Next time. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. Mm-hmm. Is this the winding path? The winding woods, as it were? Guess we have to go do that now. No, it's not. Ugh. Or do I have to go down that way to get to the winding woods? So many questions. Snowbell City. Okay, okay. I feel like there's another exit to this city. Maybe down here. That really leads to the winding woods. Here we go, here we go. Yeah, excellent. The winding woods, okay. Good, 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 good. Um, so I guess we can catch something new in here. There is that, that's fun. So let's try and do that. Ooh, this is where you can evolve Eevee into Leafeon. Ooh. So we go up or down though? Hmm, mm, I think, no, well. Le left or down? I'm going left. Ooh, berry. A Kasib berry. This doesn't look like to be the way onward, however. A Paralia's heel. Super duper. Ah, here we go. Here we go. Fight number one. What's it gonna be? <gasps> a knocked owl. Boy, this seems like something of a disappointment in terms of stuff we might have caught in here. Um... I guess maybe we shouldn't fight him with our bug type. Ultra Ball, go! Oh, we only have three Ultra Balls. But he is paralyzed as well. And he's just a knocked owl. Hmm? Hmm? Ding! We got him! First shot. Boom. Not that bad. Okay, cool. So now we need a name for him. From one of you lovely people down in the comments. Thank you so much for the comments on these videos. Ba, 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 ba. Oh, its eyes are specially adapted. They concentrate even faint light and make it and enable it to see it in the dark. Okay. Avery. Avery the Cuban American. That's you in the comments. Welcome to the box as a knocked owl for now. You never know. I didn't think Duong was going to make it on the team, and there he is anyway. So, not that he's in any battles yet, but. Mm, here we go. He's up in front anyway. Oh no, we don't. We're not fighting a freaking horde of fungus. Oh jeez. See, we might have had to. Please don't. Okay. Gosh, I was like, certainly we can run away from mushrooms. Okay. We're not that slow. We're a speedy ant. <laughs> oh man, just read the comments uh, from the other video getting that name. You guys seem very concerned that I had so many close calls, but I was actually not that concerned in the last episode. Like, there was some where I was like, uh, unless we'd gotten critted, I think we were playing pretty safe. There definitely were times where I guess we got low on HP, but ooh, ooh, double battle, double battle, double battle, double battle. 
Let's go. Oh, yeah, it's exactly what I wanted. Duong and Cleo. Cloeo. Here we go. We want to get Duong some levels before we get to the ice gym. I mean, even like one or two would be nice. We're going to be the toughest twins in the world. Yeah, so the first one said. Gosh. Did they say it in unison, you think? Nana and Nina? Okay. Okay. Slurp off and aroma. Aromatis, aromatis, I can't even pronounce some of these names. Mm-hmm. It does seem like perhaps we should switch to the Xerxenator. So, Duong, you can stay. Why don't you do an Iron Head on Slurps? And we're going to switch you out to the Xerxenator because <coughs> <coughs> poison moves. Ba boom! Giant Scorpion! We have Giant Scorpion and Tiny Ant. Whoa! I guess is Steel super effective against uh, fairies as well? I did not, I don't, I don't think I realized that. <clears throat> what is this? Fell Stinger? What does Fell Stinger do? Power 30! Unlikely. When the user knocks out a target with this move, the user's attack stack rises. Ooh. Ooh, it's sneaky. Mmm, it's like double moxie if you can time it out right. But I don't think we're going to worry about that because these moves are pretty solid here on the Xerxen. So, cool idea, but no. Okay, I like it's in, it feels like a sort of signature move like it's uh It's talking specifically about being a scorpion. Oh My gosh, there's another ant on me. What is going on over here? Well, it's dead What did it do what's happening missed okay uh, I'm gonna use iron head again because that was insanely powerful and then we're just gonna poison jab you all right Boom! You did. Mm-hmm. Toughest twins in the world, my butt. Psh. You guys didn't even say different things. How did Chloeo and Xerxen get levels out of that, but not Duong? Ugh. That's annoying. He's the one who did half the killing. Do we go down? No, we can't. Or could we? Do we have to go through the grass? Or do we just go up here? I just want to find frickin' Price, or what, not Price, but I want to find the gym leader and then just, like, beat him. This way? I feel like we're going the right way. Deeper, oh, we had better not need to use Cut to get to him. Oh, I'm going to be so mad if that's the case. Alright, little girl, fight me. Why are there all these little girls in this forest? Why are they such good trainers? Where are their parents? Klefki? Oh, yes. Ye old Klefki. Mm-hmm. I love Klefki. I think it's a... I know a lot of people don't like the design of it, but I think it is a very fun Pokemon. It's just a little keychain. And it's fairy steel, which is like the most defensive thing ever. It's just like, yeah, okay, you can't hurt me at all, basically. <clears throat> mm-hmm. What did it just use? Held items lose their effects. Okay, but flamethrower. Heal block. Boy, I don't like the sound of that. I do like the sound of flamethrowers. Yeah, you did. Excellent. One shot, one kill. Hey, Duong, good level 45. Good job, Duong. It's fantastic. Oh, he's got another one. Hmm. The Azumarill. All right, we're definitely going to switch out because we don't want to fight you. Uh, but we know how to take down water types anymore, right? Mm-hmm. Bring in the big X. Big Xylia. Who might get a level out of this? Superpower. Okay, man, for a sec. That was a crit. That was a crit. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, man. I was like, is that going to do tons of damage? It did not. It did not. And it lowered its own attacks, so... Now it should be even less effective. Did it also get hit by the Rocky Helmet? What's going on? Shouldn't it be getting hit by the Rocky Helmet? 
Oh no, because the items aren't working because of that weird thing the Klefki did. Mm -hmm. Zippity zap. Oh, you're dead. Did we do way more damage the second time? It didn't even look like we did half the first time. I don't know. 53! All right, so let's heal up real quick because we didn't take zero damage in that fight. On Xylia. We don't want to have to risk that again. No more superpowers. <laughs> it's a little, a little tricky. A little tricky. I want that TM probably. Oh, is this going to be it? Can I get down? How do I get... This This section seems pointless. What is here? And you, uh, why is this a place? Is it hiding an entrance in the trees? Uh, okay. That was pointless feeling. I'm gonna go down, because there was possibly another way this way. Do we have to go through the grass? Aha! This looks like the center. What are you doing here? Time to show off our Pokemon! Yep, that's what I'm here for. Pokefan Horizon! Snubble. Everyone in here is like, fairy type Pokemon. Alright, I think we can take... Uh, of course it does something like that. I think we can take this thing. Let's see how it goes. Iron Head. Kadunk. Freaking Duong! My goodness! So strong! The mighty ant, who knew? Oh, Grand Bull, okay. Even bigger dog. That was with an intimidate, mind you. <laughs> Boom! Oh my goodness. Oh, uh-oh. Woo! Woo! I was a little nervous. I was a little nervous. Super potion? Since when? That's okay, that shouldn't be enough. Yeah. Way to waste the move. Okay, but without the Intimidate, we totally would have one-shotted that guy. My goodness, that is an insane Iron Head. Are you guys seeing that? Huh. Huh. Outrageous. Well done, Duong. Also, we got heal. When it said he was using Payback, I was like, oh no, are we about to totally just die? What is this tree doing? It looks very suspect, does it not? Oh. Sure. An antidote. That's exactly the kind of rare item you'd expect to find in a tree in a clearing such as that. There's not like another exit over here, is there? Oh my gosh, I hate these woods. I think we do need cut. Oh, that's so stupid. I don't want to use cut because cut is a terrible move. Is there no way to get to him? To get to Wolfric, dude? Oh, maybe it's this way. Maybe we go down. No, this is where we just were, isn't it? Oh, uh, no. Oh, this one's a different tree of a different season. Just go again. Okay, we're, we're getting somewhere here. Oh, this one feels... There he is. Awesome. We did it. Everyone ran. I guess he was playing Let's Go Eevee. You know what this place is? Welcome to the Pokemon Village. This place is a secret, you know? Most of the Pokemon here are runaways, escape from bad people who did awful things to them. It's a shame how many heartless trainers who can't bother to care for their Pokemon are out here. Some of these Pokemon, though, some of them are just too strong and found they didn't really have a place outside the world, so they came here. Hmm, your Pokemon sure seemed to think highly of you. You had some good times together, haven't you? Yeah. Hey! You all come out here right now, this one's all right! Okay. Two fur frows. Yeah, no one wants them. Sometimes they get worn and come here and check on anyone. Ah, my name's Wolfric. I usually over at the gym in Snowbell City since I'm the gym leader and all. Let me guess, you want to challenge me? That's right. I thought so. Sorry to convince you like this. I'll be waiting for you back at the gym. Mm-hmm. My goodness. Take frickin' forever, dude. Do I, should I explore out here? Is this a different area? Does this count as a different area? Hold on, let's see. It might, if, we're, if it does, we may as well. Right. Oh, it does. Okay, but is there not a weird situation? 
This is like where you catch, okay, okay. This is, I know, I think where you catch Mewtwo and or Zygarde. So we could catch something new here, but I'm afraid. Hmm. Maybe we should save it just in case we want to try and catch one of those two. But I don't think you can catch them until after post game. Hmm. Well, I'll try and investigate that a little further, perhaps. In any case, it's out there. It's possible. All right. We found our way out of the woods. We've healed up. And now, at long last. We are heading into the gym. Oh my gosh. It's been such a long way here, and it looks like such a complicated walk all the way over to him. My goodness. All right. My plan is Iron Head stuff or Flamethrower stuff and switch to Fatterhorn if and when need be is required. This is just a giant game of Tetris, it looks like. Okay, I think I have to fight you first. Here we go. They call me the queen of the ice ring. Do they now? You're not even wearing skates. And people in this game are like roller skaters, so I feel like they could have done it if they wanted to. And they just didn't want to with you. Oh, so we are a pretty good type to fight you, because I think Bug Bite would be pretty good as well. But we're going to Iron Head you and see how that does. Significantly stronger than us, but we take the slash like a champion and Iron Head nine levels up to a one shot kill holy duong jeez less than a hundred oh you're very sneaky aren't you because this is the thing about ice types they're always like yeah 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 we're an ice gym but they're a water gym that's the secret that's the secret we're gonna switch to xylia for this particular fight we know your tricks. I can do water and ice too, but I bet you don't have Thunderbolt. Mm-hmm, that's what I think. Aurora Beam, yeah, not that worried about that one. I guess it might lower our special attack, right? No, it didn't even. <laughs> Thunderbolt! Icicle Crash, how dare you? There you go, oh! Oh, you lived! You jerk sauce. <laughs> Two misses, that's hilarious. We're flying. Whoa, did Cloister have lips when it fainted? That was weird. Dong, 46. What is this move? Entrainment? I've never even heard of it. The user dances with an odd rhythm that compels the target to mimic it, making the target's ability the same as the user's. Uh, no. That seems dumb. Okay, so push the button. Oh, oh, it's crazy. Okay. Uh, can I go fight? No, nope, gotta push it again. Oh, wait, did I open it up in a different way? Open it up over here. Okay, so now I'll fight you. Freeze right there. All right, dude, chill. Ah, I didn't even mean to do that. <laughs> Daily bird. All right, uh, so this is like one where, yeah, I was like, he is a flying type, but he's like the worst one of the worst Pokemon in the game. I think I'm just going to go for the straight up Iron Head. I am not that concerned about this thing. One shot. Yeah, that's what I thought. See you, Daily Bird. Mm-hmm. Duong is crushing it. Mamoswine. You have a Deli Bird and a Mamoswine? Those are your Pokemon? Okay, okay, okay. So the tricky thing is here. You could have brown type attacks. So that would actually be good against... Mm -hmm both steel and fire so we need a different solution do we have a weird ground type problem on this team uh we're gonna go to xylia i think we can probably just surf this thing pretty good mist of course why wouldn't you use mist i don't even know what that does surf oh boy you got it. Should the Rocky Helmet not have kicked in right there? Okay, so we're at... That would be 200... Oh, gosh. That did... Mm. Why didn't the Rocky Helmet hurt him? That would have been it. Oh, gosh. This is, this is nerve-wracking. Okay, so... 
where we're at is that we have 112 health left and so if it does the exact same like double that is 224 so he did like a hundred and ten damage <laughs> uh that's no no he did a hundred damage no yeah 110 damage hmm so he would have to do it's not impossible for him to do like a little bit more and he went first but we're faster but oh gosh here's what i want to do i don't want to risk it i'm going to switch to fatter horn who should be able to take the earthquake no problem and then we'll just body slam him for the win. but can we take two earthquakes no problem that's the problem because he's going to get two in right 210 but we'll heal some And we're basically in the exact same boat. Oh my gosh. Go so Cause he went down to 90. Oh man, this is not good. This is not good. Would have thought we were a little better equipped for that. Let's see how Davin takes the earthquake. We're so close to being able to just like destroy this guy. I can't believe how fast it is. Alright, that's much better. That's what I wanted. Moon Blast. And boom. God. I, I guess, is Earthquake a special attack? I'm surprised Rocky Helmet didn't do anything when he hit it with us, because we should have... Like, that should have been the extra damage we needed. But whatever. Fatterhorn grew a level. Alright. Well, I didn't love that fight. Um, as it were, I'm going to have to take a quick recording break. But this episode will continue right now, as far as you're concerned. But I'm going to go to the Pokemon Center first and heal. And then we're going to continue on in this gym. And wardrobe change. We are back. Uh, so far, I went to the Pokemon Center to heal up because why not i've still got duong in the front of the lineup because apparently uh he's insane can't believe i've played pokemon this long and never realized that durant uh was such a weird powerhouse Mm-hmm. that's definitely not it little weird interesting puzzle we have going here Ooh, we made it oh no never mind that still wasn't accurate oh there it is or is it okay now this is getting annoying oh i see the trouble is that the pink one's the wrong way i think that then we do <laughs> let's see it's definitely wrong definitely wrong okay so that could work if we can run over here no, uh, mm, mm. let's see if we go to the pink one now. And we get the middle bridge going. Then we'll be there. This is, I know, your all's favorite part is Jay fails at puzzles. You're not really failing, just taking the long way. You know, there it is. Do, 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 do. Ha ha, we did it. We're so smart. Oh my gosh. All right, so it looks like we are forced to fight this chick. I like to cool down and clear my mind with refreshing chilled dessert. Yeah, let me give you a taste. All right. That must be a Vanillux reference or something, right? Cryogonal. Cryogonal, I think, is one of those Pokemon that every single person pronounces a little bit differently. Cryogonal. But I'm pretty sure I'm saying it right. Like, whenever I watch other Pokemon YouTubers and they talk about Cryogonal, I'm like... I don't think you're saying it right. Uh, 
But I'm positive I'm saying it right. Of course. Self-assurance. Mm-hmm. Ironhead! Oh, it's gonna be stupid. We don't know if you have the confusion resistance of, like, Fatterhorn, perhaps? Oh, God, now, Duong, come on now. Come now. I mean, this is what you get with brand new Pokemon. They're, they don't... I mean, Fatterhorn is battle-tested, you know? How many gyms have we won on the back of Fatterhorn? Freeze dry? What does that mean? Never even heard of that attack. If we hit ourselves again. There it is. Kaslam. Yeah, you giant snowflake. Get out of here. Pillow swine. Uh, okay, we definitely need to switch. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, I feel like... Is this what we did with Xylia last time? Because we don't want to bring in Chloe O. That's what they're going to have. That's why <sighs> Mammoth Swine's so good. Because you want to fight it with fire, but you can't. Because it's going to use ground attacks. Um, let's go to... Let's just go to Xylia. And we'll just surf this thing down. He's got nothing on us. You want ice? I got ice. If this is an ice gym, I got ice. You know? This is like... I think I learned this lesson at the end of my pre-break. Of my pre-record break. And I feel like I forgot it. That's all right. Surf! Die, pillow swine. You're going down. Don't even know. Missed. All right, if you want to wait. Look at his little eyes. Oh, they're so cute. <laughs> I think it's better if they don't even show you the eyes. Like, I just assumed those were the eyes. They're so tiny. Oh, bye, pillow swine. So, he's almost definitely going to have a Mammoth Swine, though, right? So, we should just get used to this particular thing. Which is to say, um, we're going to switch to Chloe here. Surfing it down. But he's almost definitely got a Bomb of Snow as well, right? And I think he has Avalug. Wake Up Slap. It's like, you know I'm not asleep, right? Okay, if you say so. Anyway. Flamethrower! Oh, how is how are you not dead? It's super effective. What is wake up slap? What type is that? How about flamethrower in your face? Okay, is that super effective? Yeah, it is. Okay, alright. There we go. Shannon. Super fun. Fighting you. Shannon. Alright, I'm gonna heal. Because... It took a surprising amount of damage in that fight, I dare say. You up. And you up. Boom. Well done, team. We did it. We destroyed a snowflake. And a cute-eyed... Thing. So, let's see. Do you need to hit the... Oh. You have to... Hmm, let's see. We need to adjust it. Oh, well, let's see. We're going to have to change the green such that we can get across these bridges. But at the moment, we still have access here. So... Okay, yeah, we're going to fight this guy and adjust the yellow so that we can get across... Mm, we'll see how it goes. We're going to fight him first, anyway. Being able to keep your cool no matter the situation is a trademark of the truly powerful. You know me, guys. I'm always so cool. Theo sent in Batic. Oh, it could have. It makes me nervous that he's going to have something like Hammer Arm or something. Like a fighting type move that's just going to like... Wreck me. Oh, I don't like it. Oh, I don't like it. Because if he has that, then we're... Oh, no, we are in a bad situation. Let's just go for the Iron Head. And assume that we'll knock him out in one shot. That worked. That was a fun strategy. Why worry when you can just slam something with your head? Vanillux. Okay. 
The last girl was like, let me serve you some dessert. And she didn't even have Vanillox. Like, who wrote that text? Did they mix it up? <laughs> that seems like, obviously she was supposed to have ice cream themed Pokemon. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, hell, good one. That chip damage is really going to add up. I'm a big believer in chip damage in general. Oh, you healed. Oh, that's very sneaky. Good for you. Good for you. It's not good. Are you kidding me? Oh, because the hail increases the evasiveness. Holy butts. That did so much damage. Oh, well, I feel like I'm eating all of my own ice cream at the moment, as it were. Um, fats, you get out here. You do some work, bud. Give it the old body slam -aroo. This is just embarrassing. Dodge the iron head. Oh, so frustrating. Oh, are you healing? Buffeted by the hail, but guess what? Healing as well. Because I've got an apple core. Mm-hmm. It actually, I think, cancels out exactly the same amount. Anyway, body slam. Acid armor. Look at you doing a thing, coming back from near death. I don't think you're going to survive this body slam, and if you do, I'm going to be quite upset. Oh, my gosh. This is the most annoying ice cream cone I've ever faced in my entire life. I'll just say that. Most ice cream cones are a very pleasant experience, but this one is not. If this thing, like, freezes me right here. Okay. All right. Please be dead. Jeez. Way too much effort to destroy a little ice cream cone. You seeing that? Are you, where, did you see it? Oh, you've got my blood boiling now. All right. If you say so, man. Like, I'm going to have a sip of my coffee. Mm-hmm. Oh. You lose your cool and you're as good as beaten. I know this all too well, but it's hard to maintain. When I run into a strong trainer like you, I can't stop my battling spirit from flaring up. Cool. I am pretty awesome, dare I say. Okay, so that works great. Now we can always get to this section of the bridge. And we just have to find a path to the next part. All right. Oh, but we... Can. Does it open up? No. Okay. Can't see the whole thing. Which means... But it's got to be there, right? And right there, it works. Oh my gosh, amazing. So first, let's heal. All right, all healed up. And I went ahead and put Chloeo up at the front. Uh, Duong's been doing quite well, of course. But for the actual gym leader fight, I think we need to go in guns blazing or flamethrowers flaming? Yeah, that sounds right. Um, and that's going to be Ms. Chloeo. Now, if he has the Mammoth Swine, which I suspect that he does... Then, that's when we switch into Xylea. See, I wish I knew what he was leading off with, because if I knew he was leading with it, I'd just lead with Xylea. But, I don't. So, if he leads with, like, Obama Snow, totally dead. And then his other one, I think, is Avalug, and I don't... <sighs> I'm pretty sure Avalug is just Ice-type, in which case, Chloeo should just be able to wreck him. But, I'm also fairly certain... Clo I, I don't know. I don't know. We're going to go in with Glahuyo, and we're going to flamethrower stuff, and it's going to melt, and it's going to be awesome. All right, I don't know why you have two sets of stairs, but, you know, to each their own, I guess. Hey, dude, Wolfric, how are you, friend? You know what? Ice is both extremely hard and terribly fragile at the same time. You know what that means. Depending on which Pokemon you choose and what moves they use, I could be your most challenging opponent yet, or I could be a total pushover, but that's all right. That's how it should be. Well, at least you're honest about it. Like, <laughs> hey, bring these kinds of Pokemon, because we only use this one type. Anyway, hit off my rambling. Let's get the show on the road. Spelly slap! Is that a joke? Is he going to use, like, belly drum in this video? In this video. Pfft. In this fight. Oh, he's got a cool gym badge. 
a bomb of snow. Oh, excellent. That's exactly what I wanted you to lead off with. Because now you are super four times weak, too. I'm almost surprised they do this for the eighth gym badge. They, like, they know you're going to bring fire, right? So the fact, oh, this is why, because he has the snow warning. Okay. It started to hail. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Well, I don't think that's going to matter, because at the end of the day, we're still just going to flamethrower this thing right in its face. And it's four times weakness is, yeah, going to go straight down. <clears throat> but they must know you're going to do that, right? Boom, 53, Chloe Jo. Our mighty lion bodyguard. Buffeted by the hail. Frustrating, but manageable. Avalog. Look at that thing. <coughs> See, what scares me is that it looks like a piece of land, which makes me think it might have earthquake. But I'm also feeling okay about flamethrowering it. 59, though. Oh, man. It is strong. It's dead. But it was impressively leveled, to say the least. But we did by the hell. Cryogonal. Oh, he doesn't have a mammoth swine. Well, that's just lovely. Cool. Flamethrower? Into the snowflake face? Oh, it used Confuse Ray. Of course it did. That's its only move. That's all it had left. I don't blame it. All right. I'm going to go for the clean sweep here. Flamethrower. Do it. Do it. Fight the confusion. Fight the confusion. You did it. Yes. Well done, Chloeo. Focus your anger. Destroy the snowflake. A crit, even. <laughs> you thought you could... Maybe, maybe you could confuse Duong, who doesn't have much battle experience. But me and Chloeo, we've been, to, we've been through a few fights, all right? Sounds like Root five or something i think yeah your pokemon fought with great courage i can tell you've trained your pokemon well yeah yeah you should be able to tell i don't know why you the gym leader don't have um a mammoth swine which could handle fire types but i'm not complaining i don't want to tell you how to run your gym but you might want to pick one of them up just there was like a whole subplot earlier with a mammoth swine and it being nervous about a cave and that was like an ice thing and that was like a couple towns ago but the iceberg badge as long as you have that any of all your pokemon will surely look up to you and do their absolute best ah, ice beam hooray i think we already have an ice beamer on the team but it has an accuracy of 100 percent mm. mm hmm you know what I mean? Some people have to do it like water and can adapt to the environment without changing what's important on the inside. Not me, though. I guess I'm too stubborn. Maybe that's why I love ice types. Oh, look! Surfing bridge! Surfing bridge! This thing must have frozen really fast. Bow! Cool. Alright, well, you guys, we did it! At long last, we have all eight gym badges! Which means, from here, all we have left is, as far as I know, Victory Road, and the Elite Four, and the Champion. But I could be totally wrong. Maybe Team S Squall shows up out of nowhere, and it's just like, hey, subplot, come do a thing. That'd be really annoying. Mm -hmm. I bet there's another rival battle, too. That's probably a thing, because we haven't seen wine gums in a hot second. And normally your rival is like, hey, you're about to head to Victory Road? Let's have a really hard battle first. So maybe we should be ready for that as well. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's okay. We got it. We got the Xerxes and Andrew to take on that stupid meow stick she has. Mm-hmm. Okay. Anyway, that's not important. I'm just thinking about the next fights. We, the fights to come. But for now, thank you so much for watching today's episode. We are almost there, you guys. This has been such a journey. Thanks for leaving a like on the video if you haven't already, and subscribing so you don't miss any future Nuzlocke episodes from us. But until next time, bye!